Just thought I'd let you know, I'm just uh, cruising here. I'm going to go up to Richmond, Kentucky. There's a Bucky's up there, and we're going to stop there and get fuel. Probably get a cup of coffee. Then I'm going to try to find a place to park it for the rest of the night and then call over there first thing in the morning, get this thing over there, drop the car, and then Sue and I is going to take off and try to find a hotel somewhere for a couple of days. So with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Here we are, early Sunday morning, about, I don't know, 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm at the final Bucky's here at Richmond, Kentucky, about 20 miles south of Lexington. From here to where I need to go is roughly about an hour and a half to drop the vehicle off for the lithium. So after I get my fuel here, it's just a matter of figuring out where am I going to be able to park it till not early in the morning, but uh, say around, I don't know, 10 o'clock or so, 11 o'clock, and head that away. It'd be nice if I could just park right here, but they don't really like you to do that at Bucky's. I have once. Nobody said anything to me, but I'm leery about doing it, you know, and pushing my luck. But anyway, this is what Bucky's looks like early in the morning. Oh, price of gas. People always ask about price of gas. The further north I go, the more expensive it's getting. Right there's what I'm paying today, right now. 334 for regular. It was 363 in Florida when I left. And through Georgia, it was pretty consistent. You can buy gas in a lot of places around three bucks. The cheapest I got it was at a Bucky's in uh, the one down by Macon, Georgia. I got it for two dollars and I think ninety cents for, uh, gas for there. So if you're heading south, if you can, buy your gas in Georgia. It looks like that's the cheapest state so far. Tennessee wasn't bad, three ten fifteen, and now that I'm in Kentucky, it's three thirty four. Who knows about Indiana? Well, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> heading toward uh, to get my lithium down. We come up to this little town uh, called Bloomfield, I think, Bloomfield, Kentucky. I was looking at the architecture, architecture um, of the houses and buildings here. And if you'll look at the downtown, that's downtown, it's just a small town. As a matter of fact, I'm turning left right there. I, I was going to go on up in town, but I don't want to have to get stuck and turn around. But uh, there are people there coming out of that place there on the left. Looks like a, I can't even tell, but an ice cream place maybe or whatever. This almost looks like a Mayberry kind of town. <laughs> Except it's on a hill. You can see the homes up there on the hill. The little peaks and valleys they have on the houses. Very old town. I like these kind of towns. These are the kind of towns when I go through them, I look for the corner cafe to get a bite to eat. Who knows, I might come back in a car. I'm going to be around for a couple of days. I told Sue to get the hotel booked wherever we're going. We don't know where we're going yet. We'll see about uh, hanging around a couple of days. We'll, we'll do some running around in a car. So right now I've just got the handheld camera out here doing this real quick. Of course, you might enjoy it a little look. See what an old Kentucky town deep in the middle of nowhere and we're going to get further into nowhere force over 
Oh, I didn't do the video this morning. I should have when I got up. Today is Sunday morning. We spent the night in Lexington at Cabela's. It was late, about 2 o'clock in the morning by the time I got to Lexington. And I didn't want to mess around too much as far as looking for a place like a harvest host or whatever. So we've been at Cabela's before. So Sunday, the store's closed. Wasn't a big deal. We, time we got there, it was closed. They're doing a lot of building around there, though. I did notice that. But anyway, we spent the night at Cabela's in Lexington, and now we're moseying this way, the way the GPS is telling me to go. <laughs> so let's get going. Well, we're going to get out and about. This is our first night here while they got uh, my RV uh, putting the lithium stuff in it. We stayed here at the Holiday Inn Express. I've stayed a lot of Holiday Inn Expresses. My pet peeve about hotels, people can laugh if they want. If it's got an outside door, I don't stay there. Holiday Inn Expresses, uh, Country Inn Suites, and there's a few other ones where you got to go inside and all the doors are on the inside. That happened years ago when we were in Savannah, Georgia at an old hotel. That's all they had there at that time. Outdoor to entrance to your rooms and the people right next to us got their door kicked in and was robbed by gunpoint. And ever since then, I've never stayed at another hotel with outside doors. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where we're at. We're not too far from Interstate 64. We're not on 64. That's a side road there of some sort gas station most hotels are surrounded by restaurants we're not not here gas station there fire station and there's a little fast food place right over there like an arby's or something and that's it but the uh structure here on most of the homes that i see are big we're in horse country you can see a big horse barn right there i think the water tower way over there has got horses painted on the side of it so we're going to go out i think and look for maybe a place where i can have a late breakfast it's around 10 30 11 o'clock i don't get up early <laughs> so we're going to go see what we can find i'm taking this picture for posterity for those little people that are all health conscious look at the butter on my grits My breakfast also came with a waffle. Sue ordered a waffle, so I just said, cancel that waffle, and I just give her my waffle. This is downtown Shelbyville, where we've been staying at the hotels outside of town. This is one of the few downtown areas that I've seen in my travels that it's actually a thriving downtown. Stores are open, the lawyer offices, we just had got coffee over there. There's another coffee shop back yonder. We was at that one yesterday. They say that this one is better. Old buildings have been fixed up and they're getting more fixed up. We noticed on the other side of town that they're redoing a couple of old buildings, uh, bringing in, I think one was a sandwich shop. Anyway, my whole point about all this is, it's very rare that you see a thriving downtown like this. You know, my day growing up, this is where everybody came to shop downtown. There was no malls. Well, we're going to try, we're going to try this place. Let me zoom in a little bit. We've been all over town and this is about the best looking restaurant. And I got to tell you, I'm second guessing it. Dinner time, our hotel is completely booked. We got to leave tomorrow because of a convention. I'm going to get something bloody and disgusting. Hopefully my RV be ready tomorrow. He can't figure out where the power source is for a DC to DC charger. We were at the Holiday Inn Express at Shelbyville, but they were, we want to stay an extra day because it's going to take an extra day to get the lithium put in. Uh, I don't know if they're running into problems or what, but it's just going to take an extra day. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Let me tell you, this lithium install doesn't go the way you expect it to go. It didn't go the way I expect it to go. An extra day, an extra hundred and some dollars a day on these crappy hotels down there. There's more on this. Keep watching. Keep caught up. See you on the other side. Oh, and don't forget, thumbs up.
hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, tell your friends, share the videos, all the stuff you've heard everybody say. Later, Gator.